Hello friends, so welcome to iOS Pro Hacker. Today's video is very interesting for you and for me also. And it's a 17 minutes long video and a full step to step guide because some people don't understand the technical things. So this is the video for those who want to bypass and delete iCloud on their iPhones. It can also fix the SIM not supported issue on any iPhone. So in this video, I'm going to show you some tricks to bypass activation lock screen, which is right now possible on iOS 12 beta 5 and the method works on every iPhone iPad and iPod which are compatible with iOS 12. Yes, only 64-bit devices if you have iPhone 5 so you are unlucky. And Apple can close this method anytime so please do it as soon as possible. And please guys don't follow scammers videos on all over the YouTube. Let me tell you that in beta versions of iPhone there are some possibilities of jailbreaking, unlocking and accessing the root file system due to the bugs because the beta versions have a lot of issues but developers always fix issues in the next update. The beta versions are different from the official versions. They have so many bugs and that's why recently jailbreakers released the jailbreak for iOS 11.4 beta and unfortunately they failed to jailbreak official iOS 11.4 and please guys never watch those videos in which they show unlocking of iCloud by changing DNS and fake proxy servers because it's impossible to unlock it using this rubbish numbers so that's totally fake so we need a laptop to update our phone to the iOS 12 beta let me guide you upgrading method so the unlocking method I'm gonna tell you I've tried this on my iPhone 7 and we're gonna download beta version of iOS 12. So to download it open a website ipsw.me you will find the link in the description of this video and come inside the identify my iOS device. So let's first identify our device model. Without knowing about our model, we can't download correct version of iOS 12. Now look at the back of your iPhone and you will see little model number there. You can see mine is A1660. Let's fill it in that box. Okay. A1660. Now here is the point. You need to memorize your iPhone model number. This model number is different. If you see, mine is iPhone 9.1. So that's the identification of my iPhone. Now we're gonna go to another website, 3u.com, and from here you need to download the software. You will see the download button. So you need to download the software. It's not any kind of virus or paid service, it's totally free. And I have already installed it on my computer, so I'm not gonna show you the installation procedure and all that. Okay, let's go back to the website and come into the firmware. Now here, select your iPhone, iPhone 7 and iPhone 9.1. And don't select anything else, so scroll down, here's the list of all firmwares. And iOS 12 beta 5 is on the top, so just download it. You will not see beta 5 here because Apple has just released the beta 6 version. But don't worry, it's totally working on the new iOS 12 beta 6. So without saying anything, let's press the download button. This firmware is a beta version. Okay, let's download it. So wait for the download. It depends on your internet speed, how fast the internet you have. Let me tell you that the method I'm going to show you it can bypass two things on the iPhone, activation lock and carrier lock. You will see in the next few minutes, it has a bug in iOS 12 beta which can unlock iPhone without a SIM card. So your iPhone will be factory unlocked, how amazing right? But for a very very limited time. And I'm not sure about the next iOS 12 update because the developers can fix this error anytime. And please don't follow any of the scams on the internet. Never ever pay anyone for unlocking of iCloud. There are so many online websites which offers paid unlocking services and I have tried them, you know, those are fake, waste of money and time. So please stay away from all of this stuff. 
The file has downloaded and let's put it on the desktop. Make sure you have iTunes installed in your computer. We will not use iTunes but it should be on your PC. I am changing its file name because I've already downloaded some of IPSW files so that's why. Okay so here is the three tools. Now just simply tap on it and open it. Don't connect your iPhone now. Uh, first of all we need to come into the flash and JB and in here uh, come into the pro flash and in here you're gonna press the import firmware first of all let's turn off that and turn on this retains users data and let's import firmware and select the iOS 12 so um, you will find it in your downloads folder because when you download something it goes directly into the downloads folder but I moved that file on desktop okay so now connect your device using a data cable and make sure you use the original USB cable which comes with the box of iPhone never use cheap Chinese data cables to restore iPhone in order to avoid errors that's why I am telling you to not use the cheap lightning cables otherwise your device can stuck on restoring process and recovery mode iTunes logo loop and that's very bad for your iPhone and cheap cables can also damage the hardware of your lightning connector so stop using them okay so phone has turned on and also detected by the laptop tap ok and um, unmark this keep firmware cache just select it retains users data while restoring now you just press flash button to start the process of updating now the last step is to put your phone into the DFU mode if you zoom in you will see the instructions of putting the phone in DFU mode so iPhone 7 and above have the same method of putting them in DFU mode and iPhone 5 and 6 have the same method you can also search on YouTube that how to put iPhone 6 in DFU mode if you are having trouble in following these steps I have iPhone 7 so it is showing here the method for my phone so let's follow the steps here and let me show you how it works okay so let's press and hold the power and volume down button for 10 seconds and when the black screen appears we have to release the power button only let's do it power and volume down button and black screen appears release the power button no it fails because apple logo appearing let's try again press and hold power button volume down button and when the screen goes black after three seconds release the power button and press and hold the volume button aha uh -huh. okay now our phone is in the dfu mode because the screen is black that's it and it is detected by the computer also so now again press the flash button to start the upgrading so now the flashing has started and we are upgrading it using 3 tools not itunes because i was trying to update it using itunes so it was restoring my whole phone instead of just updating it that's why we're gonna use 3 tools all the links all the firmwares and softwares are in the description of this video so it takes 15 minutes time to complete the whole process and make sure you are connected with your internet while doing this otherwise you will get error I am creating the long video and recording each step to explain these technical things to every beginner and if you see on your iPhone screen there will be a loading bar loading screen so when this loading will complete so a new loading screen will appear but you need to follow a step so watch the full video to not miss anything in it and watch every step to correctly bypass the activation lock and seem not supported issue okay so now when the apple logo will appear after the completion of the first loading screen you will need a sim card injector or you can use anything which can help you to eject the sim card i have the original sim card injector so i'm gonna use it so when the apple logo will appear after the first loading screen just eject the sim card from your iphone and a new loading will appear on the screen 
It will take few minutes to complete. I am skipping the video to make it short. It's already very long video. So don't miss this step. Now without inserting the SIM into the iPhone, simply set up your phone, choose the country and language and Wi-Fi, but don't insert a SIM card. I am saying again that never waste your time in DNS and proxies. Those are totally fake. So just stop it. So as you can see, well, let's wait. Mm -hmm. So the activation lock screen appears. Don't worry, we're gonna crash it. Now we're gonna force reboot our phone to crash the entire lock screen. To do this in iPhone 7 or above, you need to press and hold the power button and volume down button at once for 10 seconds. And if you have iPhone 6s or below, press and hold the power button and home screen. Oh, sorry, home button. And now also put the SIM card back into the device. Okay, so all done. Now here is the little work to do. Now you have to wait for the right time to eject the SIM card again from your phone. Right time is when your phone screen gets brighter. Let me show you. Let's wait for it. You can see this little increase of the brightness. Now this is the time to eject the SIM card. Actually there is a bug in an iOS 12 beta 5 which can fix SIM not supported problem and unlocks your phone without a SIM card. If you see on the top corner, iPhone is searching the network even without the SIM card. And Apple will definitely fix it in the next version. SIM is not in the phone and it is showing no service. So if your phone not showing this no service and just showing the no sim card so force restart your phone again and do this step to get it. Now it is again showing the activation lock screen so we are gonna do that step again. Force reboot and put the sim card back into the iPhone and wait for the right time to eject the sim card. And it will definitely work after trying it 3 to 5 times. So let's grab the SIM injector and eject the SIM when the screen gets brighter. Let's wait for it. And Okay, so that's it. This is what you need to do every time when you restart your phone. Okay, let's see if it's working now. English, Pakistan. And let's wait for it. Okay, so activation lock appears again. Now again, we're gonna press and hold the buttons for restart our phone and put the SIM card back. Let's see now if it works. As I said that you need to do these steps um, three to five times to get things working because uh, do you know that if you open a whatsapp and force restart your phone your whatsapp will crash have you tried this before so this is what i'm trying to do with the activation lock screen now let's see again if it is working let me change the language of my phone uh, it's not necessary but you can do this because when uh, this kind of uh, iCloud bypass was released in 11.0.3 so I had unlocked my phone using the Netherlands country and language so I'm just changing it to the Netherlands it's not necessary but you can do this let's try it okay Hmm, activation lock again. Let's force restart. Now let's come back. Let's see if it is working. If it will not work, we will gonna restart our phone again.
I think it is unlocked now because I can see the time. I can see the clock on the top. That's it. That's it. Super amazing. As you can see clearly that the iPhone has unlocked without a SIM card. And in iPhone, it's not possible to unlock and set up the iPhone without SIM card. So this was a real unlocking, not fake. This unlocking method was working in iOS 11.0.3 and everything Apple Pro had uploaded a video for that bypassing method but Apple developers had fixed that so after a long time this bug is again here in iOS 12 beta 5 which can bypass iCloud and SIM not supported activation error so if it's still not working in your iPhone uh, try to first reboot it again and again try at least six times to get it work this is a very nice trick but for a very limited time so share the video to everyone who forgot their Apple ID and wants to bypass activation lock. Don't forget to give a thumbs up on this video also. Right now beta 6 is assigned by Apple and I've tried it on beta 6. It's working right now for me but I don't know. Uh, make sure to follow each step in this video. And I'm not sure about the beta 7 or next update, so do it fast guys. And you can see everything is working now, phone is working and unlocked without SIM card. No cutting of video, no skipping, it's totally real. Make sure to not reset or erase everything in your phone, otherwise you will stuck again in the activation lock screen. And from here, now you can change your language. Uh, here it is the English So this was the video and this was the method for unlocking iCloud and For a very limited time. So thank you so much for watching the video and Subscribing me and thank you very much for supporting me. I Hope you will love this video and you will gonna unlock your iPhone Peace out